today we're going to go over the 3.5 milliliter snake eyes clearomizer we went with our old style account it's clear and you can see it better up here on the top you have the windpipe hole where all the air comes through your atomizer and that plug can come out you can adjust it for your liquid uh, you can lift it higher for thicker fluid or push it all the way down for our 7525 fluid thicker the fluid the more you want the wicks here to have an open spot for the fluid to flow up through the wick of course if you lift it up and you put the 7525 fluid in it it will uh, start filling up your windpipe down the center hole and it'll start gurgling you'll know if you've got too much vapor or too much liquid going down because you'll hear a gurgle sound when you take a hit on it simplest way to fix that is to pull the mouthpiece out which is this pull the, pull the mouthpiece out of it and uh, blow the mouthpiece out because you'll accumulate fluid in there and then take this piece off your battery your clearomizer and blow through the top right here to blow the fluid out into a paper towel and then put your mouthpiece back on and everything should start working fine again if you flood that atomizer it'll actually stop producing that much vapor uh, these are real tall clearomizers uh, like I said it's a 3.5 milliliter so if uh, you get halfway or a quarter down and you start getting a dry burn taste flip it upside down for about eight seconds on your battery turn it over hit it again it'll be nice and wet again start hitting so I'm gonna go over how to fill this uh, take your mouthpiece out take your favorite fluid uh, this is watermelon rancher 12 milligram you take it and turn your atomizer at a 45 degree angle Let's see if I can turn this so you can see it so you can see it fill up it's already running down give it a couple squirts here If your fluid's too cold or if uh, you start filling up the mouthpiece and it gets too built up in around the mouthpiece and it's not flowing down in there simplest thing to do is to take your mouthpiece push it in and it'll plunge the rest of the liquid down in there we almost have this filled give it a couple more squirts okay I put the tip of the bottle right in the side hole right there and I just started pumping on it until I filled it up as you can see uh, I got this one a little full but that's about where you want it you want it right there to the bottom of the white atomizer nest and to the top of the still vent tube and put your mouthpiece on want to take your battery put your clearomizer cone on to protect it from hitting something and knocking it off of the base because they will come apart if you tighten them too much screw it back into the battery till it's snug flip it upside down for about eight seconds get them wicks nice and wet Turn it back over and guess what it's ready to go yeah this has a light in it we stopped carrying the lights uh, them lights after a while the contacts on it start getting dirty and the lights go out uh, if we get enough customer request we'll start bringing the lights back into the production line but uh, what I wanted to show you over here is this is a new style clearomizer it's the same clearomizer, same way to fill it and everything else, but it's made out of polypropylene. So it, it won't crack. So that was the biggest complaint out of the old clearomizers was it would crack. But these produce mass amount of vapor. As you can see. 
So that's it for the clearomizer. If you want to clean these out, uh, you can dump the rest of the fluid out, whatever's in there. Fill this up with uh, either pure polypropylene. We're going to be getting a cleaning solution here shortly. Either clean uh, polypropylene, clean uh, PG, propylene glycol, or you can use uh, a grain alcohol or even uh, a whiskey, anything like that, or just water. You fill it up, shake it, shake it out, dump it out, and then. Uh, once it dries out, you can start using it again, or if you're using alcohol, you can actually dump the alcohol out, then put you a couple drips of fluid down that center hole to prime it, get down that center hole to prime it, and then of course blow it out, and then fill it back up and then start hitting it again, and it'll start working after about five or six hits after you get all the moisture out of it. But that's it for the 3.5 Snake Eyes Clearomizer.